Hello! Welcome to Next Door Boys. It's already been a week. I need to get a haircut. What do you think? Need to get a haircut? Yep. I don't complain too much about having like really curly hair. Well, that's a lie. I do all the time. But I think I'm just gonna get like the sides trimmed a little bit so that it just looks like that. That's what I'll look like. You know, just a little cleaner, just a little more clean cut. Most of your time, here is my most important object. So it was actually, wow, about this time last year, I was dating this really great guy um, that I met at school. He was my favorite. But you know, since we were both college kids, we couldn't really afford to go on these really extravagant dates. And actually one of my favorite things to do that's free in New York City that no one really knows about is that the Juilliard School actually has like instrumental recitals almost every day of the week and they're completely free for people to just come in and hear great music. And one other thing you should know about me is I love composing uh, music, instrumental, symphonic. I'm a big fan of video game music. I know that's incredibly geeky, but I love Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time because of its soundtrack and just how the music is like interworked into the environment. Anyway, I feel a rant coming on about Zelda and that's not what this is about. I'll do that some other time. Some other time you'll hear me talk about my video game obsession. Geek! And of course my boyfriend knew that I loved writing music and I always told him my dream is to one day, you know, on the side of acting, one day I really want to conduct a, a symphony you know, of my own compositions, uh, and a great orchestra, like at Carnegie Hall or something like that. And so that he knew that about me, and that's why the relationship kind of worked, is because he really knew what I was all about, and he was very charming. And So later on in the relationship, one of my other traits reared its ugly head. I'm an incredibly suspicious, paranoid, jealous type, and it's horrible. I basically came to him in pretty much tears and was like, I don't really trust the relationship we have because I'm so scared that you'll cheat on me. Because that's the thing, I've been cheated on so many times and it's just the worst feeling in the world. And I was so close to breaking up with him just because I didn't want him to break up with me first. How stupid is that? But anyway, after I let it all out, and everything. He kind of talked to me and calmed me down and I told him there was no reason I shouldn't trust him and I said I was really sorry for acting like this. And his response was, yeah, I mean, I get it. I just, it just sucks that, you know, this had to happen today. Today? Is there some reason that it's more of an inconvenience today? Yeah, um, I got you a present. Um, you, g what? Yeah, I picked it up from the Juilliard student store. Um, here. <sighs> he bought me a professional conductor's baton. Happy one month anniversary. I have never felt so horribly ashamed and guilty and so sorry in my entire life than I did at that one moment. Here was the best guy I had ever dated, and I had completely not only forgotten about our one month anniversary, but also completely complained, broke down, and threatened to break up with him on the, that day, and then he hands me this. This is the most important object that I own. This is my most cherished belonging. I love this so much. So yeah, my most important object comes with the world's worst guilt, and of course that would happen to me. That's the way my life goes. I always say that my life is being written by a sadistic playwright, and she's pissed. I guess my question for any viewers is, have you ever received a present that you absolutely felt you did not deserve at all? I bet you have. Thanks for watching, I'm signing off now, and I'll see you next week.